hi so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use metatrader 4 or explain to you what everything you are seeing here is what they mean what they do i am also going to show you the same metatrader 4 platform on the phone so first of all we're going to start with the pc version so let's start with the first button so the first button is this one so when you click here it only comes with like four options which is restore minimize and close so when i click on minimize this is what happens yeah okay so now let's go back to where it was okay so as you can see this chart is not looking nice like it's not looking like the way it's supposed to look like so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and make the chart look a bit nice so i'm going to right click then i'm going to click on properties and i'm going to choose a, a color scheme to black and white then i'm going to simply click on ok then from here again the chart is no longer it's not really looking nice as as expected so i'm going to click on properties and i'm going to click on common and we're going to use candlesticks instead of a bar chart and yeah and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on okay okay so this looks better but let's try to make it even more better i'm going to click on properties again this time i'm going to click on colors and i'm going to change only two colors which is for bar up i'm going to choose green okay then for bar down i'm going to choose red bow candle the same green and bear candle the same red then i'm going to click on ok and this looks nice now we've got this macd indicator below so let's remove it simply right click here and delete the indicator this now looks nice so we don't want to be every time to be changing the how the chart is looking so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this template so right so to do that right click template and click on self template and i'm going to name it as uh, let us say nice chart because this template has got a nice chart looking one then click on save so now this looks better so i'm done uh i'm done making the chart look better so the second thing we're going to do or i'm going to teach you about is the file so when you click on the file this is why you'll be able to see these options such as open offline open deleted profiles so you're not going to be using this much as possible maybe only the save as picture but later on in the videos i'm going to show you like the open data folder when it comes to installing custom indicators and robots but for now it's not necessary so the only part you have to know is like when you click on file you'll be able to log in or switch between different metatrader 4 accounts so to do that simply click on login to trade account and this is where you'll be able to change your login details and so on from here there's this button called view okay so let us say you deleted this uh this bottom over here and you are not able to see your balance well what you can do is simply click on view and click on two bars or no you click on terminal then it will come back here yeah so that's how the view works so the view can help you delete some of the stuff or show them in case they disappear i am also going to show you how you can actually uh use the strategy tester later on you can as well enter into full screen or you can just simply press f11 on your laptop from here this insert so what does the insert do so let me click on insert this way you can actually insert different stuff like indicators uh lines so let us stay on to insert the line simply click on line choose the vertical line and here is the line let us say want to insert a shape let us say a rectangle okay i've inserted the rectangle over here let us see what we'd like to insert a text i can add the text like uh by now okay I've, I've put the text on the chart then if we'd like to delete this stuff you've put simply right click on them 
Oh, is it not working? Let's see. Okay. I'm using the metadata file where I just simply right click on them to delete. So in this case, if you use the metadata file, what you have to do is right click anywhere and click on objects list and tick them over here and delete. Then they will all disappear. Okay. Then on the chart, this is where you'll be able to change the time frame, the template, refresh, grid, volumes, zoom in or zoom out. So when you zoom in, but the but the fastest way of zooming is clicking this button. If you like to zoom out, click here. As you can see, I have now completely zoomed out. To zoom in again, simply click here. Okay. Then tools. For now, we don't need to know anything about this. I'm going to show you later on. Okay. Yeah. Then the other one is window. For this one, I'm going to explain later on. Then help. No, we don't need help from this. Later on again. So let's go on to the next one. So here. So when you click here, you simply create a new chart. Okay. And you choose the current spare. Okay. Then from here, you simply change profiles. For now, leave them the way they are. Okay. Then the market watch is the, this one over here, the left bar. That's the market watch. Then this one is the data window. So the data window is this one. For now, we don't need it. The next is the navigator. Okay. If you want, you can make it long or make it shorter. And this one is the terminal. The terminal is the one which is below. Okay. As you can see, I, I click, it disappears. If I click back, it comes. Then this one over here is a strategy tester. If you're testing indicators and robots, I'm going to explain later on this. But I already have videos on my main YouTube channel. Then new order, if we'd like to enter a trade, click on new order. Then it us say if we'd like to buy or sell USD with this Swiss franc, whatever. Yeah, choose the volume, which is the lot size. Let us say 0 0.01. Enter your stop loss, enter your take profit, and instant execution, and click sell or click buy. Okay, I'm going to show you some strategies on how you can actually trade forex and so on. Then click on close. Then the other one is this one is the meta quotes language editor if you're a programmer you can actually create some indicators using the meta quotes language for, for now don't need to know that then this one is for virtual server if you'd like to run robots if you should have to piss off you can actually rent a vps for now it's not needed then this button if you'd like to be using signals on your meta Twitter for if you want to subscribe to someone's signals that's what you do for now it's not needed auto trading if you have installed some robots on your meta trader 4 and you let the robots to run you simply click this button i'm going to show you later on as well okay then from here this way you're able to change chart types you can go to bars to candlesticks to line chart for now stick to candlesticks then i already said about this zoom in zooming out then when you click over here windows uh, is going to like the windows for the charts are going to rearrange for now we don't need that but once you click this is what happens then you simply click here to go into full screen then this one here to go to the end or go to the other end for this one here if we'd like to see some indicator list like if we'd like to add some indicators and so on okay then for periods and finally templates for now i'm going to leave it the way it is so I've explained much of this. Okay, so there's one more thing to explain before I go to the to the metadata for on phone. So simply this one over here is a case. Okay. Then this one over here, if we'd like to see the levels clearly to be exact. So at this level it's 0 0.96222. At this level is 0 0.95612. So that's how I use this. I don't even know the name. I don't maybe we can create a pointer. It actually shows you exactly the market levels. So this one over here, simply a line, okay, a line, a horizontal line, okay, some existing channel. I don't use this. If you like to add text, then if you like to change the time frame, you can click here, go to 15 minutes to 15 minute time frame, or you can simply right click and choose the right time frame you want. Okay, so I've explained much stuff here. 
uh, either way if you don't want to click on this button in the new order if you'd like to buy and sell you simply click on sell right here or you buy right here then here on the left this is where you'll be able to see the current pairs if there's a current pair you're looking for and it's not among this list okay you simply you can add it by searching for it and it will show up i'm going to show you more later on then here this is where you'll be able to see your indicators your expert advisors so if you'd like to add an indicator click on the plus maybe choose the indicator category and if you'd like to add the moving average click and hold and drag it to the chart and click ok and boom we've added an indicator okay then here on the trade this is where you'll be able to see like open trades how much you have in the equity the balance here the exposure okay you'll be able to see in a nice way account history okay you'll be able to see the losses the profits how you've been trading and so on okay news this one is not really needed then finally you are going to learn more about the experts and the journal later on i guess i've explained a lot about this meta trader for i don't think i've left out anything yeah some of the things you'll be learning them as you trade so let me go on to the meta trader for the one on the phone so let me just open up my phone so this is the monitor Twitter for on the phone and I've already logged in into my trading account. So let's start by making this chart look a bit nice. Simply tap on the screen, then click the supposed to be settings button. Okay, me I'm used to it Twitter Twitter for. So click on the menu, click on settings, then chart step, keep it to candlestick, then scroll down, click on colors then we're going to choose okay color on white so the chart type is color on white right let me just go back to confirm yeah the chart is color on white let me go back to the settings and click on so on the android phone click on menu click on menu settings then choose on colors then the bar up we're going to choose green okay i don't know which green here i'll choose this one then the bar down will choose red i'm going to choose this one the book candle again green the bear candle again red click on done go back to the chart this now looks better okay so i'm not done making the chart look better so the other thing you can do is simply when you tap on the screen this come around thing comes up then you'll be able to change the time frame let us say to go to 15 minutes or 30 minutes you'll be able to do that okay then if you'd like to add some indicators simply click on this dollar sign no click on the f then click on main chart and choose an indicator deck to add let us say deck to add the macd simply click on it click on done then to appear down if you'd like to delete these indicators, click on the F, click on the bin icon, mark all what you want to delete and finally delete and they will all disappear. Then if you'd like to enter a trade on this phone, simply click on this camera plus icon, then you choose instant, enter the lot size, or if you go to stop loss already, if you would take profit already, enter them and click either buy or click sell. Yeah. So these are some of the basics you need to know about the Trader 4. Then here on this button, this is where you'll be able to see your equity, your balance. Here you'll be able to see your past trades. Yeah, then here you'll be able to see the current pairs, the codes and so on. If you'd like to trade the different pair, click on it and click on open chart. Yeah, then you'd like to buy or sell, click there and that's it. It's straightforward. But otherwise the process is similar even on iPhones. So... I guess this is it to know how to use MetaTrader 4. Some of the things you're going to learn them as you practice more. Okay, and I already have videos on this on my main YouTube channel. So this is it about today's video. For more videos like this, go on and subscribe. The link to this platform is in the description.